M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one here on the budget SDR radio 1.0. Now it does do VHF, but unfortunately it doesn't actually have narrow FM, so not great. But at least one thing I noticed, if we just want to check, you know, the spectrum and we can change the, the width here, we're on 128 kilohertz width at the moment. And I just briefly key the H3 here. You'll see there, you can use it as a, I don't know, as a spectrum scope, waterfall scope. You can see the signals there. Now, if you wanted to hear what that sounded like, it just sounds like a garbled mess. But if we want to listen to airband, that does work really well. All we do is just tap the screen. One, three, three, dot, eight. Let's leave it at 600 for now, megahertz. And to change how we move frequency, just press the button till you get the red, and then you can turn it to eight, and then push and turn, move along five, and that will pick up air band. We're on AM already. We just need to wait for a transmission. Now, yes, we, you know, in, in my shack, we are picking up some birdies as they call them here, you can see them and that they're showing, but it still works great. If I go to the HF, oh, there's air band now. So get the volume up. Now remember that just because there's birdies doesn't mean the device is, is unusable. It, it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, this device is 75 pound, by the way, it's got a four point three inch screen built-in speaker and a battery that I reckon lasts two days so the battery is amazing and you can actually change the colors of the waterfall as well move along let's go to to move to this side of the menu so you push and turn and hold until it you see the red highlighted and you can play around with the scope there you can actually change the colors of the scope if you push and turn that's changing the band width, go down as we just did. See if I get it. Oh, that's the bottom spectrum. There you go, there's the colours. So it's quite a fun toy to tinker with. And it's really small and portable, so I find myself using it quite a lot. It's just sat here on the desk connected to I've put the BNC adapter on its SMA which was fine because I had a SMA adapter anyway but I thought well I've got loads of BNC adapters lying around you can see it's screwed on there and if you see something you like you just press and hold and it just saves it to the next available channel there's a hundred channels so to go to channels you just press it until the 26 is highlighted just here that says channel. Oh yeah, by the way, to change the time, you just tap the screen here. Just, there you go. That was the screen, that was the time. You've got battery frames per second here. IRQ, it looks like it says. So anyway, let's um, change, let's go through some memory channels. subsiding I haven't tried 50 megahertz actually there we are on the handband and it's pretty much tells you here what you're on and all this is adjustable so if we just press it LSB selected already and just tune through. If we go to a finer increment, push and turn, and it moves along. Here's your FT8. Volume is the first one. Well, let's uh, keep our fingers crossed. We'll uh, keep ours crossed over here as well. 
Cool. Don't really use AGC because it's all white. It's too, it's too powerful. And then so if we go to the IF game, which is like RF game really, push and turn, and then what? See the way. You've got a weak station there. You can bring him in. It brings everything in there. But yeah, I, I don't know if it's a state agent and a nice person going the same sentence, but I see what you mean. 73, catch you later. Have a good day. See you tomorrow, guys. No, it's not the agent we're talking to. But for me, it's just really easy to listen to. Oh, okay. All right. No, no problem, man. What can't you give them a deposit or something? Well, we asked them about that because, you see, he's confused the job. It's because we don't want a solicitor. We don't need a solicitor. Of course, you've got sideband and AM. So you can definitely listen to the CB. Well, you can't listen to CB FM. You can listen to USB, upper sideband, AM and USB LSB. So that's it. Just you now I'm going to take this thing apart soon. I'm thinking about it. I thought, yeah, I'll take the back off this. It's a clone. The original was called deep SDR 101 and I like it I just the only thing I would say is the push and turn thing is a bit annoying it's a shame they just they could have had just like a function button and then that could have given you those other functions it's only about the push and turn is only about six functions that you you need to do I, I think it's just a small little tweak like that this airband coming in there on my H3 so anyway, thanks for watching my channel, having fun with, with all the devices that I get. The next video is on the AOR DB10, which does all the digital modes, receive, and then some new software that is out by Dep Micro. So that's my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.